Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and today we're going to talk about the unspoken baby step in Dave Ramsey's baby steps. Baby step number zero. zero. Nobody talks about this step, so stay tuned. Alright, I didn't realize that there was a step zero. I didn't realize that I was in step zero. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. I didn't realize I was in step zero. Nobody told me about it. I was there. I was there. But I ain't realize it. I did not realize it. It is a mess. A mess. A mess. That's when that chokehold is on you and you feel like the walls are caving in. Everybody and your mama is calling you about something. Whether it's they need to borrow money or you owe them some money. One or the other. It's that ch choke. Chokehold. It's the choco. That's what it is. So anyway, baby step zero, what you need to do before you begin any of the other seven baby steps is to figure out your why. Why is it that you want to get out of this debt? Why do you want to stop this, this madness that's going on or this, this unrealistic theory that you have to stay in debt? What is it? Who told you that? I don't know if I just assumed it because I saw my mom with credit. She handled it well, but I just assumed that it was credit. I passed that on to my girls and I'm going to do a video about that because I did and I jacked them up and I, I'm having to eat crow now. However, when you know better, you do better. So anyway, with this, you have to figure out your why because if you don't know why you're doing something, it's not going to be important. You need to give life to why you're doing something. And so I want everybody to write down their why. Why is it that I want to get out of this debt? Is it because of the chokehold? Is it because I want to give my children a different outlook as far as finances, as far as money, as far as credit, as far as using cash? Um, tell yourself, you don't have to share it with anybody unless you want to, but I would, I would love for you to share with me in your comments if you figure out what your why is. My why is, is that I didn't like that chokehold. I didn't like it. I didn't like that tightness. I didn't like when my phone rang. Is it a creditor? Is it, is it, you know, or am I going to have enough money? Um, to last a month? Am I going to run out of money before the month runs out? I was tired of it and it would happen every time from July until taxes came in. It never failed. And so I am not going to go through that again. I'm just not. I've done it for so many years. So that was my why. And I also wanted to make sure that I gave a different outlook, a different perspective to my children that would give them um, financial freedom. You don't have to be in debt, y'all. Y'all do not have to be in debt. And I don't know who lied to us, why they lied, or anything else, but trust and believe. I'm getting ready to uh, make them understand you will not lie to me anymore. I am going to be financially free. And it might take forever, but I am on the pathway of doing it. <laughs> the second thing that I need you to do is to commit to yourself that you will not use credit as an acceptable tool to purchase items again. If you do not have cash for it, if you cannot, I don't have a problem with you swiping your debit card, but if you do not have the financial means in a financial institution that is not attached to credit, then you cannot have it. That is straight to the point. You can't have it. You don't have enough to purchase it. If you don't have enough money to purchase it, you cannot have it. Now I am truly the queen of instant gratification. Y'all don't understand. I love it when Prime tells me not only are they going to deliver in two days, they're going to deliver to me in one day. I don't order online a lot until, you know, probably last couple of years because I needed to go and touch it and I need to bring it home with me probably wouldn't look at it no more. Instant gratification, that's exactly what I would do. And then I would throw it away. I was the child that would play with the box and not the toy. <laughs> that was me. I just wanted to open it. Then I was done. 
So I need you guys to commit to not using credit anymore. Cut them up. Cut them up. I don't even want you to freeze them. I hear people say freeze them. Mm, no, I'll just unthaw you. Cut them up. Now, you take your choice on whether or not you want to close it. People have good, bad, and different things to say about it. That's on you. But cut them up. It will not be as accessible to you. You're going to have to go through a whole lot to get that credit card back. And hopefully by then, whatever you wanted, you done figured out a way to get it without it. All right. Have a conversation with yourself if you're single. If you're a single mom or a single dad, have a conversation with your children on, with an age-appropriate conversation. If you are married or in a relationship with a significant other, have a, have a conversation with them. Include the children if necessary, you know, if that's your dynamic. Life will never be the same. It will never be the same for you. Um, it's going to be some times when things are a little tight. It's going to be some times when you're going to have to wait on certain things that you really want to purchase or want to go on. There's going to be some trips you're going to miss. There's going to be some times where you're going to have to say no to your family and friends that you can't attend certain things, but you're on a mission. You're on a mission. You have to attack this knowing that on the other side of this, of all the no's, of all the delays, of all of the missed trips and vacations, that you're going to come out on the other side. And you are going to enjoy your life financially free. So, make sure you have that conversation. It's going to be a hard one. They ain't going to like it. But it'll be okay. <laughs> Now what I need you to do is called a spending analysis. I've never met Angie on our life on a budget. Never met her. She has no clue who I am. I don't like her. <laughs> I don't like her. I was mad at her. I was fussing at that YouTube channel. I sure was. I was fussing till I couldn't fuss no more. She had the audacity to say, Collect three to six months of your credit card and your bank statements so you can find out exactly what the problems are in your spending habits. How dare her? What you mean? First of all, ain't nobody, that's a tree. Ain't nobody getting ready to print all of that. So she kept, it was like every video I would watch of hers she would just continue to talk about this and I don't even know if it was I, I just feel like it just was resonating that I kept going to this one video when she's talking about this spending analysis and I really thought this woman was crazy but after about a week I finally gave in and I said okay I'm gonna print it so I did I printed three months of excuse me six months of my credit cards I had three major credit cards and I had two bank accounts and I printed them. Oh my God. <laughs> so first of all, I went through, I highlighted, and I'm gonna do a video on this, on how I did this, but just a, a brief snippet. I highlighted all of the um, different categories and I found out after about two months of going through this, groceries was number one, eating out was number two, Amazon Prime slash Target slash Home Goods was number three. So, I'm going to do a video so that y'all can kind of see what happened. It wasn't pretty. I don't know how I survived. I'm just being honest. It was outrageous what I was doing. Yeah, I was killing myself softly. Budget cuts. Budget cuts. I don't like cutting stuff. I don't. I don't like adjusting. I don't like change. I don't. Uh, yeah, none of that. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like none of it. I had to take the spending analysis and realize where my weaknesses were, and I had to make changes. So with the budget cuts came a budget. Eh. <laughs> so with the budget. Um, I started using 
every dollar. Now, I have used everything, y'all. I've used different apps. I have used spreadsheets. I've used paper and pen. I have never found anything that I enjoyed more um, and stayed on more than I have with every dollar. You can call me a Dave baby, whatever you want to call me, but it was the only one that made sense to me. It was the only one that allowed me to know exactly where my money was going. So that's the one that I use. Tell me in the comments what you use. If you use anything, if you don't budget, tell me. If you do budget, which form? Spreadsheet, every dollar, another app, um, pen and paper, tell me down in the comments. You have to get current. You have to get current. Your four walls have to be current. You have to have somewhere to live. You have to have lights. You have to have food. Get current on everything. Um, you know, I had to tidy up some stuff. It wasn't that far off, but I had to, you know, catch up on some stuff. And yes, it was with my income taxes. And yes, um, I had folks calling me. I was, you know, and I, I wasn't going to, to to come on here and be transparent to the world. You know, my coworkers, my friends, everybody's watching. But I'm not the only one out here. And I had to say, you know what? If you can help somebody, help them. Everybody's gone through something at some point in life. If they haven't, they lying. So here I am, transparent and all. Um... This is who I am, and this is what I've gone through. And so I want to share it with you guys to take that stigma off of. You know, when I become debt-free, I won't have this stigma anymore. I won't have to worry about bills because I won't have any. You know, just my house note, electric bill, you know, utilities, food. That's it. I won't have to. And I can do whatever else I want to invest for retirement, invest just to be invested, go on vacations, enjoy myself. Give to other people, share with other people, enhance somebody else's life, whether it's with my time or my money. I can't do that as much as I would like to right now. So I have to do the hard work on this side. So when I get to the other side, I can be like, wow, yeah. And now I understand what Dave was saying. You have to live like no one else, which is the struggle. You know, and be able to live and give like no one else on the other side. I don't want to swipe another credit card. I cut them up every time I pay one off. I cut it up. I've personally chosen. Everybody may not agree with it, but I've personally chosen to take the hit on my credit on my credit score. I am not responsible enough to win. I am in the dumps, depressed about something that I won't go spend. So I've decided to close the accounts. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Because I'm going to put myself in a position to be able to have money saved up where emergencies will just be inconveniences. They will not be something that's catastrophic and knock me completely off my feet. I'm doing the work now so that I can enjoy it on the other side. I want you to brainstorm on how you can bring extra income into your family, whether it's through a yard sale or doing a side hustle, uh, whether it's babysitting or um, it, it could be, you know, doing surveys, whatever it is to bring in some extra cash. Uh, I'm doing a yard sale this coming weekend and literally the only thing that's not going out there and they may not make the cut is my kids and the dogs. I have gone through my house. If it has sat here for more than six months and I haven't utilized it, it's going to the yard sale and I'm going to sell it. You know, I cut my cable, so I've got three TVs But I, to sell. I am. I'm, I'm going to sell everything I can possibly sell. I've got an old lawnmower. Somebody will buy it for parts. I've got a climber that I'm getting ready to sell that I have for the daycare. I mean, any and everything I can possibly sell, I'm going to sell. And it's going, it's not even going to hit my bank account good before I have it. Literally, at Ashley Stewart to pay her off. Ashley must go. She must go. She has, 
She has done so well for my life and she has dressed me quite nicely for many, many years. But that $30, I'm paying an $80 payment and she taking 30 of it and putting it, through, uh, putting it to interest will not happen anymore. She will not. She will not get another red penny out of me once I pay her off. Ashley, buh boy. So the first one is for Lovely Pratt. She is a wonderful subscriber that I, you know, she's one of my butterflies and I love her to death. She always comments and gives encouraging words. So she is breaking ground on her home in April. She um, was approved for a Habitat home and shout out for Habitat for Humanity. Y'all know my house was a Habitat for Humanity home also. I kind of connected with that and I'm so proud of her. So Lovely Pratt, congratulations. Shout out to Lovely Pratt. <laughs> All right, so you guys tell me if you're on baby step zero, one, two, three, four, whatever you're on, give me a shout out in the bottom and I'll give you a shout out online. I also wanna to mention to you guys that we have a new Facebook group. Okay, yeah, y'all know I love Facebook groups. I love to be able to have that conversation, us give each other support. So it's Pam Meets World, Ditching the Debt. You like it? I love it. So Brie helped me out with it. So I have started the group, do a search, Pam Meets World, Ditching the Debt. Come on in, we'll give each other support, tell each other how our day has gone as far as debt is concerned. Do the shout outs in there also. Um, so we can support each other. If you have questions, we can try to support you there. So, you know, I want the whole world to get out of debt if we can possibly do it. If you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do so. We want to welcome all of our new subscribers. Make sure that you hit that bell so you're notified each time that I upload a video. And make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. And until next time, butterflies, love you.